I want us to pray for the nation of Cameroon. I avoided for many months praying for Cameroon. Because one time I gave a prophecy about Cameroon, about the leadership. Some people went to tell the leadership that I was praying against the president. And I was hearing some things. Now, if there's a country that this ministry has really shown love, it is Cameroon. Many Cameroonians have been living here. If you are Cameroonian, you have been here for over a year. Can I see your hand? Over a year. Wave your hand. Over a year. Over two years. Wave your hand. Over three years. Wave your hand. Over four years. Wave your hand. Has anybody harassed you? Has anyone harassed you? Has anyone harassed you? So when we hear, I was very angry when I heard I said, because I don't know why I love Cameroon. I don't know why. But, the war going in Cameroon, the war going on in Cameroon, the media is not picking it. It's not in the news. Compared to the way people are being killed, it's not in the news. If it's Nigeria, there's one small bomb here. The whole internet will catch fire. But what is happening in Cameroon is not coming much in the news. Many parents can't send their children to school. Some people can't go to their hometown. If they are not killed by rebels, they'll be killed by the Amber Boys. The Anglophone crisis has been extended. We have to pray for Cameroon today. God told me today, to say, pray for Cameroon in the service today. The thing you are seeing happening in Nigeria is because there is social media. But how many people in, the, in, the, in Cameroon really have media power that can spread what is happening? God put it in my heart yesterday. It's when you get to church, pray for Cameroon. Are you following what I'm saying? Are you following me? Africa is one. Stop saying my country. I'm Ghanaian. I'm Sierra Leone. I'm Republic of Benin. I'm Niger. I'm Tanzania. I'm South Africa. No. Africa is one. What touches our sister country touches us. We're going to pray. Are you ready to pray? There are people that have been, their heads have been cut off. Some have been killed. Some have been wasted. For what they don't know. Are you listening? Are you listening? Ah, Apostle, why are we going to be praying for Cameroon? Why about Nigeria? We don't get our problem. Charity begin at home. I'm not charity. Go and begin at home. Go and begin at home. Since you are charity, go and begin at home. What you pray for God to do for your neighbor. Is what God does for you. See, wisdom. Even if you don't have a child, pray for somebody to have a child. Pray. I want us to pray this prayer then when I begin to prophesy. But we have to pray this prayer first. Some of you are waiting for a miracle session. Ah, Papa, he has not started prophesying. What is happening? Pray. Pray first. <laughs> are you ready to pray? Pray. We are going to pray that God intervene in the nation of Cameroon. The only way God can intervene in a nation that has a crisis, like when they had a crisis in George chapter 10, is for the captain of the lost host to descend. When they were fighting God's people, the captain of the lost host to descend. That God should spare Cameroon. God should release peace on Cameroon. Let's prophesy peace to Cameroon. From the presidency down to the last person. Peace. That let there be peace in that country just like what's happening in nigeria when a country has war investors cannot come and when investors don't come it translates into poverty peace listen if people are still running out of a country for a better life it means that country has a problem people are living in nigeria they are going abroad they, they want to go anywhere anywhere it doesn't matter anywhere it's a sign of failure we will pray lord intervene cameroon peace Use Cameroon to reach the whole Africa. Let there be peace. Open your mouth and pray for Cameroon. Let there be peace in Cameroon. Peace in Cameroon. Peace in Cameroon. Peace in Cameroon. Father, we pray for Cameroon as a nation. We pray for the nation of Cameroon. We pray for the Frank.
We pray for the francophones and the anglophones. We are asking for peace. Father, peace. Let this killing stop. Let this war stop. We decree that the captain of the lost hopes will descend. Unpour that nation. Let the hand of God visit the whole Cameroon. <laughs> Father, we're asking a revival fire. Let those who have carried arms, who have carried guns, begin to encounter God in their dream. <laughs> Let them begin to drop their guns. <laughs> Mm. The Lord said you should note this down All Cameroonians note this down There are many Amba boys that will become evangelists They are going to encounter with Jesus And they will start exposing some things that you don't know God is telling me that many of them will lay their arms and serve Jesus I see many of them dropping their guns and carrying the Bible Peace in that nation I use Cameroon to reach all African nations in diaspora. And even Africans in diaspora, I pray peace in the nations and in the nationals. Peace. Jesus' name.